Pickle District After Dark 4.0 art crawl through the tunnels. Uh, there's some amazing artwork on the walls. There's a light show set up in the park. There's uh, some really cool projector shows showing waves and all kinds of arts uh, throughout the, the park there. Um, there's a bar at the end. We didn't make it that far, unfortunately, with the little man, but um, no, it's an amazing night. Uh, heaps of people out on the street tonight, and um, it's great to see the place activated like this and yeah, good on you to the Pickle District and the City of Perth and the City of Vincent for everything they've done. The district, as you know, is the only arts precinct, consolidated arts precinct in Western Australia in our arts ecology. It deserves to remain here and we are fighting to keep it that way. I think these are huge, huge events for the local artists and the local community. I'm with the with the council, with the city of Vincent, and on the arts advisory group. And yeah, this is what we what we yearn for. We want to bring the artists out, particularly to places like this where they're not traditional art spaces. It's like really good as a thing to like just bring the community together. I think the arts are something that can sometimes, particularly in Perth, be undervalued a little bit. So I think anyone that brings the art to the mainstream as well, seeing it's not just in a gallery space, it's out in the public, it's open to anyone, uh, passes by particularly. So anything like this I'm all for. Board of members, it's great to be here at the Pickle District After Dark 4.0. Uh, it's an amazing uh, area uh, established to engage and inspire local community art lovers, professionals and the general public uh, to break car enthusiasts and embrace the light, sound, murals and installations that create the extraordinary urban art trail along the Northern Gateway into Perth. inspires people, it um, sort of births creativity in the area um, and I think like a lot of people would kind of go home from this event and be like yeah arts is still really important like the artistic community is really important and I think creating space for that is um, just going to be on people's minds after tonight. It really brings everyone together, like you can see that there's a huge crowd, lots of families. Um, yeah, just people don't really think about giving money to arts, but here we are, it's very cool. Yeah. What we're fighting for specifically at the moment is when they come in with development, which is happening right now, we are asking for one thing. We want them, they have to spend money on percent for art. We want to spend 100% on real estate. We want square meterage for artists so we can bring them in here and keep this thing going and bring more talent and more interaction occurring in this area. And guess what? We're, tra we're trading here for in perpetuity in perpetuity so that in a hundred years time will there be a need for the, uh, an arts precinct in western australia well we hope so and guess what the future can look pretty bad but it should be a groovy place and we're here to make it that way